The next question is, explain the concept of a neuron in deep learning. In this question, the interviewer wants to hear about the concept of weights, the concept of bias factors, how they are used in order to obtain the so-called z-scores, and how the activations are, activation functions are used to obtain activations, and what is the point of these weights and the bias factors and relationship to the learning process. So a neuron in a deep learning, it is referred as sometimes, sometimes referred as artificial neuron, which mimics the function of the human brain's neuron. But it does so in a thematic and simple way. And the idea is that in a neural network, the model gets different inputs. And here, this input signals we are calling neurons. It takes the input data, which we represent and call it as an X. And we use this X to multiply it by weights because this weights can then tell us how much importance this neuron should have, how much attention we need to pay to this neuron. And these weights are then multiplied by this input data, which we call X, those are the neurons. And we add a bias vector because there can be always a bias introduced when we are performing our learning process. And the, the way it's multiplied by this input data X, we are adding then on the top of that the bias factors, and this will be our Z scores. But then in the next stage, before approaching the hidden layer, we use what we are calling activation functions. And activation function, uh, such as sigmoid function, rectifier linear unit, or leaky relu, all these activation functions, what they are doing is that they are mathematically introducing nonlinearity into our neural network. And these activation functions are applied to all these different Z scores, which is based on the weights and then input data and bias factors, in order to understand how much each neuron should be activated. It can be that we want in certain, when, when looking at the object and trying to understand what is the object in that image based on the pixels, it can be that we need to activate certain neurons related to that specific area uh, or that specific object, and we should not activate the other neurons. And that's exactly what we are doing with these activations of these neurons. So here then we are using these activations to introduce nonlinearity for the neural network to learn these complex structures in the input data.